good evening my friends today I'm going to make adobo arequipeño so this thing I'm going to do for serving serving so first thing I have to do is my onion <laughs> ají colorado is four tablespoon this is spoon because I am doing more quantity okay so that is colorado and then one teaspoon salt one teaspoon black pepper and cumin to do oh my god it's raining actually I am marinating tonight for tomorrow I'm going to cook tomorrow it has to be marinated all night this is better than bouillon one tablespoon okay and then my onion that is blended just like chopped here as I told you before um, this is a very big deal in Arequipa Peru is a tradition uh, for weekends as a breakfast they eat a lot on weekends this dish and it's good very good and then I'm going to put the red wine vinegar like that this time is a, a half cup to see now like that we're going to mix and also I'm going to put the bowls of all spice and then dry oregano just do it like that that's it and almost two or three tablespoons of olive oil okay fantastic oh my god it has everything so the meat is going to be right there and also we're going to now we're going to put the meat I have the meat here okay Chop. So much. This time I am doing for seven more. It is for breakfast too. Tomorrow is Saturday. So now I'm going to rub the meat. Now I'm going to rub all the meat very well right. right here. Mm. 
Mmm, it smells fantastic. Okay, so it's going to marinate all night. Mmm, look at that. And this I'm going to marinate all night and tomorrow I start to cooking in the morning uh, and this time I found rogoto. Look, I'm going to do with my rogoto in a fresh bread that I'm going to get tomorrow. So see you, see you then. Look at this sauce, look at this sauce. Sauce. It is look so rich, and then I'm going to put also onion. More onion. This is going to marinate that like that. Oh my god. Now will be all night. Good morning, my friends. Today I am so excited because I'm going to do my adobo. Right here is my, my pans and my adobo. I'm going to put the meat that was already marinated, just like that. You see, yes, it was marinated all night and turn on, on high, and then I'm going to put this, this pan, I'm going to wash it up with water, and just put it up like there, so oh, this is the one I want to, you see, and then I'm going to put the, Yes, very well. Toast, toast. And leave. Just let boil like that. I am putting thyme, fresh oregano, and um, uh, rosemary. Perhaps I have to put yes. this one. And the rocotos, look. The rocotos, I have to keep on line. All the, well, not the time. As soon as it starts boiling, I have to keep on line. Um, that's it. It's going to boil one hour, supposed to be. I want to check. Uh, perhaps it's 45 minutes, okay? That is my adobo arequipeño. Mmm. My tea is already. Look at that. what I'm going to do. I did is anise. I'm going to. You see, it's anise. My mother used to do that. So, yes. That. And put it in my in my teapot that is boiling, but it, it's already finished to boil. Just set there. I smell so good. So my tea is ready. It was boiling, so I'm going to move here. So you're going to set. Well, I'm going to check. Look at my adobo. It just I'm going to turn the rocotto so it will cook even, you know. Oh, mm, it smells so good. 
What? Oh, look at this. I have to check. Look, this is kind of almost open it up, but oh my goodness, I don't want to open totally. I have to take out. All right. All right, look at how is my adobo. Good morning, my friends. Today I am so excited. I'm going to serve my adobo ready to It's done, so let's serve. That is my adobo ready to okay? Let's do it. It did very, very well. It's so nice. And it smells fantastic. So I want to show you how is the tradition serve one piece for person. In this case, I'm going to put two to my, for my husband. He eat well, he was working hard. And the juice, I'm going to put the juice. This is the meat and the juice, right? And also, this is going to be for the picture. I was checking the rocotto because you know how is it is going to pop up. It will be so hot. And I don't want to do that. Of course, I'm going to take the picture. It's like that with his. Already anise, anise in the Spanish, and um, the tradition said we have to serve with anise naha. This one, if you, if you don't have this one, do this tea, anise tea is good for the digestion. And then just put it up like that and serve like that. It's just for the digestion. Um, my tea is already fine. And you drink. Mm, very anise. Very anise. Because the tea has anise on the end. It's not hot. You know. And that's it. My friends, my first video, it was very long, it was funny, but very long, so I tried to make this so you can understand the recipe is so simple and it's so good, it's a big, big tradition in Arequipa, Peru, in the south, they, this dish they eat for breakfast on Saturdays or Sundays. Well. Ah, forgive me please. I am not a chef. I just am home cook. Forgive my mistake. Okay? 
Have a good day. Enjoy. Bye. Mm, I had to eat this.